Welcome to my kitchen kingdom, where this old man cooks. Welcome to Kitchen Kingdom, where this old man throws down the chow down. If you find yourself alone this holiday season and you want a hug, this old man wishes that his arms could reach through that camera lens out through your television screen and reach around you and go, mm, 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 but I can't. But what I can do in this episode is prepare a bowl of comfort that will hug you from the inside. So let's get started. Now what I have here is pasta in the shape of Star of David and dreidel, but you can use any type of pasta you want. I also have in this pot one cup of heavy cream and two cups of whole milk. This needs to go on the stove and start getting warm to prepare for the cheese that we're going to melt into it. But in the meantime, the pasta is going to get cooked, rinsed, and drained. While that's happening, we're going to go ahead and do the sauce. What we have here is our pot with our two cups of whole milk, one cup of heavy cream coming up to temperature. I have, oh, about one and a half cups of extra sharp cheddar cheese. I like extra sharp. You can use mild, you can use just plain cheddar, you can use sharp. Doesn't matter, it's all good. It's your hug. So we're going to add this cheese to the milk mixture. Stirring frequently, we're going to allow the cheese to melt into the milk mixture. Don't let it boil, don't let it burn, don't let it scorch. We're going to come back and do the roux and thicken this sauce up to get it ready for the pasta that had been boiled, rinsed, and drained. Now in this pan, we're going to start our roux. And the rule of roux is you have equal parts fat to equal parts flour. So for this, I'm going to melt down six tablespoons of butter and I have six tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to gradually add the flour to the melted butter once it gets melted. And we're gonna just gently cook it to incorporate the flour into the butter to make our roux. Then we'll take our hot cheese and milk mixture and add it to the roux to thicken it. So now that our butter is melted, we're going to start adding the flour about a tablespoon at a time, making sure that it's nicely incorporated with no lumps. You don't want to cook this roux too much, but you do want to cook it just a bit to get the flour taste out of it. So the roux is cooked sufficiently enough to where the floury taste is out of it, but the amount of thickening properties that we want are in it. So we're going to take our hot milk and cheese mixture and add it to the roux. This is thickened up on us and we're going to remove it and get ready to add it to the pasta. Now that our cheese sauce is officially a sauce, what I'm going to do is add one half teaspoon of salt and just a nudge of white pepper. Mm. Mix that up well. And what I have here is our pasta that had been boiled, rinsed, and drained. And what I did to kick this up just a little bit, I added some cheddar and 
about a half a cup of smoked Gouda. Oh yeah. So now we will add our cheese sauce. If you have more cheese sauce left over, that's okay. It freezes well. You can add it to some veggies. But what you're gonna do is just incorporate that up into your pasta. This is gonna add a gooey factor with that extra cheese in there. Give you that tight squeeze, that tight hug that you crave, that I crave, this holiday season, being all by my lonesome. That's nice and mixed up there. So I could just bowl this up right now and get hugged, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bake it off for a little bit in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. If this bowl of comfort could talk, it would say, it's just you and me, baby. So let's chow down.